Today we're going to learn how to do detailed drawings using AutoCAD 2019. First thing we're going to do is identify which drawing we're going to dimension. Today we're actually going to dimension the base plate, which is this drawing right here. It's in fractions, it's not in decimals. There's another drawing that you'll be able to do in decimals later. The method to the madness is identical for both of these drawings as far as the dimension style standards are concerned. There's one field that changes to make it fraction versus uh, decimal. So that's what you're going to learn today. Dimensioning inside AutoCAD is, is done um, over here under annotation. It's a different tab. It's called annotation. Under annotation we have the different dimension styles. I'm going to have to pop this open real quick so I can show you the toolboxes that are in here. You have a text toolbox, you have a dimensions toolbox, center lines, leaders, tables, make, markup, <clears throat> annotation, etc. For our purposes, we're going to be over here in the dimensions section. When you click on the little down arrow right here, you'll see all, sorry, let me pop that back up. When you when you're here, click on this little down arrow to get the dimensions. And then to set your dimension styles, you go here, little corner arrow. When you click on that, you get this is something called your dimension style manager. This is where you set your dimension styles. I have to close out of this real quick and make this small again. Our dimension style standards come from a handout that you, you have in front of you that gives you these standards. Where is our text going to be? Our height of text itself, the text height is going to be an eighth of an inch. We have very specific gap information for every little thing when it comes to detailing. Literally, the arrow width is identified, the arrow length is identified, everything is identified. Okay? To do all of that, we go to annotation, we go to dimension, we go to our little arrow, so we have dimension style manager. First thing I'd like to say, you create a new one, and this is going to be called AutoCAD underscore inches uh, fractions, right? We're going to call it fractions. That way you have a standard you're creating. Uh, we're going to hit continue. And now you're in something called the, the new dimension style called AutoCAD underscore inches underscore fractions. You can just watch this, what I'm doing up here. You don't have to follow with me. Dimension lines. Dimension lines are the things that make up the dimension outside of the number itself. Okay? For example, dimension lines. They call extend the color is by block, which is fine. The dimension line is, is uh, everything that my mouse is touching minus the number. It's hard to show on the screen, I'm sorry. So dimension line, extension beyond ticks, we leave alone. Baseline spacing. Baseline spacing is what my arrow is circling around. You see this point three seven five number? That's baseline spacing. So we type that in. Yeah, oh, 3 eighths good enough? No, nothing's good enough. It's 375, 3 eighths of an inch. Suppress dim line 1, dim line 2. Dimension line is this thing. I'm sorry, I take that back. It's this thing right here, what my arrow is going across. This thing right here. So dimension line 1 versus dimension line 2 is correlated to your extension line 1 and extension line 2. We don't mess with that, so we leave it alone. Baseline spacing, 375. Extension lines are these guys, the lines that extend to the object. The line that extends to the object. I'm not going to use the word vertical, even though this line is vertical, because the dimension can also be a horizontal dimension. Okay. The extension line beyond dimension line, that's this number, 0 0.0625, 0 0.0625. So if you want to jot that in your notes on the handout you have, go ahead. 
Offset from origin is how far away is my dimension, I'm sorry, my extension line from the object. And that needs to be an eighth of an inch, 0.125, an eighth of an inch. Next, symbols and arrows. Arrow size. Our arrow size is what size is our arrow? <clears throat> They're 0.125 is the size of our arrow. Now the type of arrow. We pick open 30. Open 30. Why? Because that allows us to not waste a lot of um, toner. If it's closed, it's going to make it very dark. Open 30 is the one we use in this class. <clears throat> Center mark. Center mark is this thing right here. We leave that alone. We don't care. Break size. We don't care about that either. Arc length symbol. Pre preceding dimension is fine. Radius drop dimension. 45 is fine. This 45 angle is fine. And the height factor we don't worry about. Text. The next tab. The text height is an eighth of an inch, so we identify the text height to be an eighth of an inch. Text placement, centered. Horizontal, centered. <clears throat> View direction, left to right, is fine. That means it's going to be horizontally placed, regardless of anything. Offset from dimension line. That's actually how far away is my actual number from my dimension line. 0.09 is fine. <laughs> Text alignment is horizontal. If you say aligned with dimension, then the dimensions will align with your dimension line. I don't like that. ISO standards is ISO, which is actually the same as aligned with dimension line, but I don't follow that standard. We're doing an inch drawing, so we're following ANSI standards. ANSI standards is horizontal, regardless of which way the dimension is, is whatever the dimension is pointing at, it's still horizontal. So your dimension appears horizontally, regardless of which way the arrows are pointing. Fit, the next tab. Fit options, either text or arrows is fine. Text placement be be beside the dimension line is fine. Scale for dimension features, you'll learn about this later. For now, it's one. Fine tuning. I always turn place text manually. I want that level of control. And I would recommend you do too. It makes life a little easier. Place text manually. Units, primary units. Now this is a very good question. All right, we're doing the fractions one. So instead of a unit format decimal, we're going to pick fractional. Now, precision. The finest precision you see on the drawing is to a quarter of an inch, no, half, no, a quarter of an inch. You could leave it to a precision of 16th, it's okay. You can make it tighter, but honestly, it will do what? Lowest common fraction. So if it is a half inch, it'll go to a half inch. If it is three quarters of an inch, it'll go to the quarter inch mark. So if you wanted to, for some reason, pick all the way down to 1 over 256, you can, but understand that if, if the dimension on there is not to 256, it won't show it. But it's nice to know. I'll just leave it there for fun. Decimal separators, we, we're not going to have one. Round off. Round off is to what decimal place will it round it to? You don't want it to round it to anything, so you leave that alone. Measurement scale. This is a very dangerous little box. Don't touch it. Ever. There's very few, very few cases of where it's relevant to discuss scale factor at the dimension level. It is not a good thing to do. Ever. You always want your dimensions to be shown at one-to-one -to, -one to the real drawing. You never want them to show a different value from what they really are. We don't care about zero suppression because we're not doing decimals we're doing fractions alternate units this is that metric business remember I told you 25.4 it's already built in there so if I did display alternate units 
it already uses that multiplier of 25.4. Beautiful, isn't it? We're not going to show alternate units. Tolerances, if we wanted to, we could show tolerances, but we're not going to. <clears throat> so that's it. Generally speaking, you're adjusting the lines. Baseline spacing is 375, extension beyond dim is 0625, offset from origin is 0.125. Once you set all these standards in, your symbols, we're using open 30, text, eighth inch, fit, place text manually was the only thing I had to adjust. Primary units, fractional. Why? This is going to be the fractional standard. So we hit OK. And voila, we have it. Now watch this. I'm going to pick that and say, uh, I want to copy it. Uh, new. When I click new, it's going to say copy up. So now what I want to do is pick one. Instead of inches fractions, it's going to be inches decimals. And continue. When I do that, the only thing I'm going to change is from fractional to decimal. And this one is decimal to how many places? Two. So I'm going to say I want you to show me only to two des precision of two decimal places. See that? Precision of two decimal places. You're still rounding off to infinite, but precision of two. We hit OK, and we hit close. Now all of a sudden you have two different dimension styles. That's how you set up your dimension styles for inches. That and break this 